Erosion, How Hugh Bennett Saved America's Soil and Ended the Dust Bowl. Written by Darcy Patterson, illustrated by Peter Willis. Earth is a rock with a thin covering of soil. Once, people thought that the soil, or dirt, would be there forever. But in the 1930s, the United States learned that soil was eroding away. Erosion is the process of wearing away Earth's surface by forces such as water, glaciers, winds, or waves. Rains had washed soil away. Winds had blown soil away. Things were bad because soil is what gives us food. Soil grows vegetables and fruits. Soil grows food for animals such as cows and pigs. Without soil, there's no bread or milk. Without soil, there's no tomatoes or potatoes. Without soil, there's no tofu or hamburgers or hot dogs. Without soil, people would have nothing to eat. Without soil, people couldn't live on Earth. On the morning of March 20th, 1935, a congressional committee met in room 333 of the Senate Office Building in Washington, D.C. They listened to Hugh Bennett, known as Big Hugh, talking about soil. Big Hugh talked about the soil that was gone. That year, erosion had destroyed 4 million acres of farmland about the size of the state of Connecticut. Another 60 million acres, about the size of the state of Oregon, were damaged. He talked about the two dust storms that had hit the United States in early 1935. One dust storm blotted out the sun and reached heights of 8,000 feet, about 1,000 buffaloes stacked upon each other. Each storm, Big Hugh said, had blown away about 300 million tons of soil. That means each storm could have covered the city of Chicago in soil 12 inches or 30.48 centimeters deep. Big Hugh was talking about the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl is a name for a time period when soil erosion was destroying America's farmlands. During the Dust Bowl times, huge dust storms picked up dry soil and blew it away. The dust storms were so bad that people had trouble breathing. They hung wet blankets over doors and windows to keep out the dust. No one knew what to do except Big Hugh. Big Hugh had studied soil all his life. He'd studied the soil across the United States, coast to coast, even studying soil in Alaska. He'd studied soil and soil erosion in Panama, the Antilles, Honduras, and Guatemala. In Cuba, he wrote a book called Soils of Cuba. He helped save the Cuban sugar plantations with new ways of farming that prevented erosion. Big Hugh knew that the American Dust Bowl was caused by poor farming practices. Farmers didn't know enough about their own soil. Crops were planted on the wrong soils. The soil was plowed wrong. Water was allowed to run off fields, taking soil with it. Big Hugh knew what to do to fix the Dust Bowl. Farmers needed to strip plow, to contour plow, to rotate crops, to terrace steep lands, and to use many other new farming practices. Big Hugh had a problem, though. He couldn't talk to all the farmers by himself. He needed the government's help. That's why Big Hugh was in Washington at the congressional meeting. He was trying to convince Congress to pass a law to save America's soil. But the committee members weren't convinced the soil needed to be saved. Big Hugh wasn't worried. Help was coming in the wind. He just had to wait for it. All that day, Big Hugh told the committee members about erosion problems. He talked soil and talked soil, delaying the vote. The next day, Big Hugh talked soil again, delaying the vote until... Someone said, it's getting dark. A storm must be coming. The committee members and Big Hugh went to the window, but Hugh's help had come. It wasn't a rainstorm. Instead, a dust storm was rolling into Washington, D.C., a black blizzard. Tons of soil had blown over 2,000 miles to reach the nation's capital. The soil came from Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, and New Mexico. It blotted out the sun and turned the sky copper. The Dust Bowl had come to Washington, D.C. The committee members walked in the dust storm. 
They tried to breathe in the dust storm. They tried to keep dust out of their eyes. They tried to dodge flying objects. The dust storm arrived just in time to convince them that America's soil needed help. Soon, the committee and then Congress approved the law. It created the Soil Conservation Service, now known as the Natural Resources Conservation Service. It was the first time any government on Earth had created an agency to take care of the soil. Big Hugh became known as the father of soil conservation.